Hi, I'm Alan. I'm a local independent grocery retailer. I'm here today with Cadbury's and Shopflix.tv. I'm here to give you some advice on how to grow your confectionery sales over the coming seasons of autumn and winter. I'm here today to give you some advice on autumn and winter sales with Seasons Made Simple. We're trying to increase our confectionery sales by getting ready for the seasons pretty early. Um, I'm here to give you some advice today on how to build your confectionery sales. We're in the singles aisle. Um, this is where we get most of our sales from. Singles is one of the most important areas in the shop. Um, at this time of year we can boost our sales hugely by having the right products in the right places at the right time. What we've done in store is we've used the planogram from deliciousdisplay.co.uk to get the right products in the right place for the consumer to pick up as they go by. This is a great time to increase the sales by using these planograms. One of the key areas of the confectionery is having it nice and full, nice and clean and tidy um, and having the, the right price in front of the right product. Sharing bags is a big part of the business in the, in the store. Um, we've got two areas. We have the chocolate area, which is here, and we have the candy area. Um, we've merchandised them in two different places to give a different variety of confectionery. One of the best ways to, to grow your sales is to bring an NPD in, um, get it into the store, get it displayed in a prominent area to increase your sales. Getting behind the NPDs and promotions is great. You will have TV ads, radio ads, on pack promotions and the consumer will have better knowledge of the new products. What we've got here is an example of the new NPD, um, the Cadbury's Milk Oreo. This is an example of the, the floor display. Um, in a couple of weeks we'll be moving the product onto the shelf. Halloween is a great time to increase your sales, but unfortunately Halloween is such a short, short period of time. Your best bet is to concentrate on the best selling lines like the Scream Egg, the Cadbury's Crunch and using displays like the Dumping and Counter displays. To help your displays, you can use the dump bins and the counter display units. Christmas sales is one of the best opportunities you have to increase your confectionery sales. What we have done, we have set up by the end of September, ready to get the sales through the doors. We have used Seasons Made Simple, um, and on that we have chosen the best products that they have to offer. We have chosen the best between gifts, advent calendars and self-indulgence sweets. I've given high visibility to the self-indulgence products. Um, when Halloween finishes, we will take the Halloween dump bins, counter displays away and replacing them with the Christmas displays. This will coincide with the TV advertisements. At the end of November, if I've got any advent calendars left, I want to get them into a prominent position so I'm not left with any waste at the end of the season. It never ceases to, to amaze me how early Christmas sales actually start coming through the store. It's a great opportunity. I hope you have enjoyed the video today. Um, I hope it's bring you some useful tips for your Christmas and Halloween sales. For more information, go to www.deliciousdisplay.co.uk.